This white van and the man who got out of it were only the beginning of a horrific massacre that shocked Norway. An explosion in the government offices marked what would become the darkest day in the country's history. Nobody knew what was really going on. It was smoke from flames. It was... Det var stora ödeläggelser på stället. Det var döda, hårt skadade. In total, eight people would lose their lives in the capital. However, that would only be the beginning of a bloodbath that turned one of the most peaceful countries in the world into one that set alarm bells ringing because of an unprecedented attack. We all had this sensation of uh, that an act of war was really, uh, you know, taking place, and we were wondering. Who did this? Who is behind this? The bombing in Oslo was only the first step in a complex plan, one that Anders Breivik had been preparing for months, and which would go on to become the largest massacre in history. Breaking news from the normally placid nation of Norway, where police now say at least 80 people were killed in a shooting spree at a youth camp for that country's ruling Labour Party. The island of Utøya became the main stage where Anders Breivik chose to carry out the heinous crime. His reasons? He had to wipe out his political enemies. The perpetrator was an extreme right-wing activist, and he felt that this was the perfect opportunity to spread the word. I think he enjoyed the deception. He was absolutely relishing the artistry of what he was doing. The explosion in Oslo would only be a way to buy time. The thing is, most of his horrific plan was focused on Utøya. There, there were about 500 young people enjoying a youth camp, one that for more than an hour would turn into a living hell. I could see people running and him shooting, and I could see three people fall just right here. Undercover and making out he was a policeman, Breivik went into the island saying he was going to protect the young people after the explosion in Oslo. However, within minutes, his true intentions would be exposed. Armed with automatic rifles, he began to surround the entire island, looking to leave as many victims as possible. Between the strings and the tents and the things lying around, chairs, it was like an obstacle course. This was the obstacle course where if you fall, you would die, actually. Adrian was one of the survivors of that bloody afternoon. The young man saw death up close, but Breivik spared his life because he looked like him. In the killer's head, Preken seemed to belong to a superior race. From what I know, the last bullet that was fired on uh, here was the bullet that hit me in the shoulder and still is there. Anders Breivik would make every front page across the world. The perpetrator of the most horrific massacre in recorded history had been arrested by the police without resistance. In Oslo, there had been eight deaths. In Utøya, there were 69. In total, 77 people lost their lives on July 22, 2011. The sentence given to the shooter? The maximum sentence in Norway. 18 years in prison with no possibility of early release. However, for him, the job was already done. That is one of the legacies of, of Breivik's murders, is that he's been allowed to live and allowed to publicize his deranged beliefs. 